Hello and welcome to A-Level Sociology. Sociology has lots of different definitions because it's a subject that encompasses so many different topics and so many aspects of it. Sociology is studying the behaviour and actions of individuals in a social setting in society, how it's changed through time and how it depends on different aspects such as your age, your gender or your social class. Sociology is a very useful subject for looking at the bigger picture. Normally, we judge someone and societies on only what's visible. However, the less visible and not visible is even more important at understanding behaviours, because those are the aspects that have been operating for a large amount of time to determine our behaviours. So why pick sociology? If you're curious about why people do what they do, if you love being able to challenge assumptions and having a debate, if you want to understand why crime affects people differently according to race, gender or class, if you want to investigate patterns of inequality, for example, why COVID has had a worst impact on black and ethnic minority communities, and if you want to gain a better understanding of human nature and society, because we're complex and we're confusing, and it's the societies that we create which is um, determined from a long pattern of behaviours. So what sorts of jobs do sociology students do? Well, it's a wide range of jobs because it's such a broad subject. It's applicable to any sort of career. For example, police and criminal probation services, but also NHS and healthcare work. Perhaps education and children's services like psychology and counselling. Or social and market research, making use of the research skills. So what do we study in AS level sociology? In year 12, we look at families and households, the way that families have changed through time and the cultural and societal differences that have come about with this change. Education. We look at how education has changed through time, but also how your educational attainment does differ depending on who you are, where you are, on your race, gender, ethnicity and social class. In year 13 and A-level, we study about crime and deviance. What makes a crime a crime? Does it depend on which society you live in or where you are or who you are? What defines deviance? Has this changed through time? Then we look at social inequality and we look at patterns of inequality across the UK and the world and why this is the case. Does it matter whether you have a lower social class to begin with, your ethnicity or your gender? We also look at research skills and how you compose a study of your own. This is useful for other subjects such as biology, geography, health and social care, and maths. The families and households unit. So we look at what is a family and whether we share the same experiences. We look at how the family has been normally composed of the classic, what we call serial packet family, of a mother and father and two children, and how the aspect of a family has changed through time and why. In the 21st century, you can see this infographic shows how there are different types of families that are accepted in society. Within the family unit, we also look at how gender relations have changed. Here you can see adverts and in magazines of the attitudes towards women. Now you can see in the 21st century, there has been societal and cultural differences in how women are treated and the attitude towards them. The crime and deviance unit. We look at what is a crime? Does it depend on who you are, where you are, what you know, how you did it? Who controls crime? Who creates the laws? And who's able to get away with it? and Why? For example, a Tory MP used the local government taxes to build a moat for himself. Should he have been sacked? Should he have gone to jail for this? 
Or did he get away with it because he was a higher social class? It was illegal for women to drive until 2018 in Saudi Arabia. This shows how different societies have different attitudes towards women and what is crime and what is deviance. Should guns be legal in America? Should it be allowed that five died in the US capital? Euthanasia is legal in some European countries and not in others. So it shows that where you live depends what is a crime or not. And war. Why is this not classed as a murder? Has society trained us to think this way? The educational unit. We look at aspects such as do private schools have an advantage? We also look at gender differences. Why do boys now tend to do worse than girls on average in school? We look at whether teachers can still be biased against certain ethnicities. Does it depend where you live? And finally, the inequality unit. We look at whether inequality is inevitable. We look at whether those in the lowest social economic groups with the worst life chances and the lowest life expectancies, is that normal? Is that okay for it to be that way? We look at the difference between the North and the South of the UK and why over half of the North has a lower life expectancy than the worst areas in the South. We look at very, very topical issues on up to date on all subjects and topics in sociology. An example of that is the inequality of COVID. Does it link to poverty? Why do black and ethnic minority communities tend to be three times more likely to get COVID? Is it because they have an e unequal access to resources like healthcare and vaccinations? Here's what some of our sociology students have to say about the subject.